All right, Shalom, all praises be to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Makakodash. Double honors to our apostles, a great millstone that rule with honor and with diligence. Honestly, brothers out there pushing this truth and love and sincerity to wake up the elect. Peace be to the elect and their families, those that change according to the word, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, in time of trouble. We say, Peace be unto you, and may the Lord have mercy on you in these evil times that we're living in. And definitely the times are evil, you know. Um, so we have to be prepared. We have to be walking in our steed in these times. We have to be prepared to come up on levels, you know. Um, you see the video that I have pulled up. We, we're we not here to babysit. You know, a video I watched last night, very edifying video. Please subscribe to this brother's channel and be edified. You know, me and this brother, we, we kind of grew up together in the faith. You know, his brother, you know, um, but, um, yeah, this is a response video, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking about naming this video, Don't Be a Toys R Us Israelite, you know, Don't Be a Toys R Us Israelite. You know, you know that remember that Toys R Us song, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. And then at the end it said, I, I I don't want to grow up because if I did, I I wouldn't be a Toys R Us kid. In this case, don't be an Israelite kid. You know, of course you have your stages where you're going to grow, you're going to grow through and but those stages are are to, are to make you better in the faith. You know, You know, uh, um, don't be like my man's. What's my what's my man's name? Oh, P Diddy. You know, you you ain't putting no work into the music, but you dancing all in the background. <laughs> you know, you didn't put no work into yourself to be a to be a better man of the Lord. You know, but but you but you want you want to be all up in the mix, you know. Our personal lives and his walk should should uh, 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 um, imitate what w what's being seen on camera. You know, we're not is we're not just on camera Israelites, but every day we should be doing things to better ourselves in his faith. We are we are all accounted liable. We sh there should be some spiritual lesson that you see in your life every day because your mind is so fo focused on the word. Because your mind is so focused on the truth. There should be some spiritual pick-me-ups every day. But even more than that, you should be working on yourselves to become better leaders. I'm gonna say this, you know, from the least man, from the least man to the greatest man, we are all leaders to our people, man, in this world. If you know a few scriptures, you know more than man men understand. So you have a responsibility, a duty to become better. You know, if you if you first got in the truth and you you was afraid to teach and, you know, you have that fear of teaching and that fear of getting out there and speaking, then it's your job to overcome that. Nobody else can speak for you. And if you... If you express to your leaders, yeah, I have I have a fear of speaking in public. I, I, I'm trying to overcome that. You know, what should I do? I'm, I'm sure what they're going to do is be like, you need to speak more. Because the, you know why? Because they, we all, a lot of us, a lot of us went through that. You're the fear of speaking and, you know, you don't know if you're going to make the right, call the right scriptures when you get up there and start speaking, brother's going to bring out scriptures. But you got to grow beyond that point. 
there's there's levels that you're going to have to achieve. And I said this, you know, recently. While you're, while you're in the truth, there's different levels of demons that you will have to face. And if you're not constantly building yourself up to meet them head on, then they will overcome you. The responsibility of you growing in this faith is yours. It's yours because the, you can't say that the information is not out there. Sometimes you just got to put in a little effort and go get it. But the information is out there. We have teachers. Uh, uh, we, have, we have the apostles, bishops, elders, and officers and, and brothers in the faith that make edifying videos all the time. And I truly believe that all topics have been covered at this point. But you have to put in a little work to go get it. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't want to put in that little work. You know, a lot of people don't want to. Hold on. Because let me make sure. Let me make sure this is on. Because. Oh, yeah, the mic is on. You know. You can't clam up when it comes to when it comes to putting in that work. You can't clam up when it comes your becomes your turn to start speaking. Because you know that that if if you clam up, that means that you're not taking this as serious as as you're supposed to be doing. This is a very serious thing we're involved in, man. It has levels, and and the, and the men over you are gonna push you up levels, because that's that's the name that's that's the name of the game. You have to come up on levels. You know, even if your levels are smaller than other brothers' levels, they come up on. You have to come up on a certain level in this faith. Yeah, we understand that, you know, scriptures say some men esteem every day alike. But that's those men are still pressing towards the, the mark of the higher calling. They're not settled on their lease. They're not they're not saying they're not saying, you know what, this is all I'm gonna learn in the truth today. Because I don't see myself going beyond this point. There's always work to do. Especially on ourselves, man. Know ye not yourselves? You know? So, you know, there's a certain mannerism, a regal mannerism that we are all to have in this faith. We should, we should all have a certain mannerism about ourselves. You know? You hear Apostle Ricard always speaking about the, that GMO baby spirit, you know, ill that ill-mannered GMO baby spirit of which is a which is a selfish spirit. You know, it's a spirit, you know, that that don't that doesn't want to help, that doesn't want to hold its own weight. The spirit that's always that's always leaning. On other brothers, yeah, we, yeah, we're supposed to bear each other's burdens, but that's to an extent. That's to help you to get over certain situations and become self-sufficient. But the end game is self-sufficiency, not a constant lean, because that should, if you're constantly leaning on others, that should make you feel guilty. Like, damn, I'm. I'm putting all the weight on this brother by by not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That should be some some should hit you say for you to say, you know what? Uh, uh I need to I need to step up and do more. And another thing, if 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 you if you the brother in the camp that's that's always falling into situations, uh, money situations, yeah, brothers don't mind helping you out, but if you're not being responsible, that's the difference. You know, sometimes a brother can be hella responsible, but he's just falling on hard times. 
And we, we don't mind helping a brother like that. But if you're creating hard times for yourself, that's different. If you're creating hard times for yourself, that's that GMO baby, uh, 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 you know, you know, uh, uh, constant lean. Brothers always got to bail you out because you because you're not making wiser decisions. And then brothers tell you, look, bro, you got to make better decisions, bro. You you can't do this, this or that. You got to you got to cut that. Hey, brother, like you got to grow up. And the brothers are constantly telling you and you're not listening and you, you keep making the same mistakes. Eventually, the spirit, going, the Lord going to get mad. Eventually, the Lord will get pissed off and be like, you know what? You know, this dude ain't right, man. You know? But we all we all are supposed to have the, the uh, cultivating a mind of leadership. We're all supposed to be growing, you know? We're all supposed to be, be, uh, uh, um, you know, um, meeting, because, because if you, if the, if the, if the, if you, if you refuse to grow in the demons that you face, you only have a certain amount of time before you face higher level demons. The Lord ain't gonna put more than more on you to, than you can bear, but you have to test what you can bear. To know that, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm more powerful than I used to be. I can, I can, I can deal with this, this in that situation because I'm not the same person I was. I've grown, and that's what it's about, man. It's about growth. It's about us becoming more responsible. Because how, how are you going to lead, you know, uh, 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 I knew this was going to happen. That's why. Um, hold on. This is First Timothy uh, uh, 3. I'm going to just start at verse 1. This is a true saying. If a man desired the office of a bishop, he desired the good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no, sh no striker, not greedy, a filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. It says, one that rule, ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. You know? So your personal affairs need to be order, in order to a certain extent. Your personal affairs, if you, if you desire to come up in this faith, your personal affairs should be leveling up. And who's responsible for, for, for leveling up? Now, to a certain extent, it is a leader's job to see certain weaknesses that you have and tell you about yourself. But if your leader sees these weaknesses and say, hey, brother, you need to do better in this area. This, you know, this can't keep going on, brother. You got to grow. You're going to you're gonna have to find a way to, to make this same situation you've been hitting the wall with to, to not keep presenting itself. There's only a certain matter of time where that's going to be tolerated. Yeah, and that's it's in the hands of the Lord, but it, but sometimes the Lord will get on one with your ass. And you don't want to be the guy that's just sitting in the background with your hands folded, not growing, not become not becoming a better man, not be being more regal, not honing in on your leadership capabilities or your abilities at all. And just settling on your lease some goddamn where. You know, because that's what is that saying? If you if you got that spirit, that's saying that 
I don't care about the elect waking up. They're not my elect. I don't I don't care about being a better example unto others that come in under me. We can all die together. Oh, the elders got it. Oh, the, the brothers over me, they got it. I don't, I don't feel like dealing with this situation. Put all the weight on them. Let them let, let them let, let them strain their lives out while I sit here and fold my hands. Hmm. They got a song, they got a song called The Weight. Uh, by uh who, who, Robbie Robinson. You know. And it's a song about brotherhood, man. You know, it's a, you know it's it's a sentence, it's a line in that song that says, "Hey, you can put the load on me," you know. Meaning that you know, hey, if the load if the if the load is getting too heavy for you, I'm here. I got your back. You can put some of that load on me. And that's what the brotherhood is about. It's about use. It's about men seeing situations where, where there's a problem or hearing situations from the men over them that this is a problem and taking initiative to fix the problem. Not just sitting back, folding your hands. Well, he going to take care of it. That lazy hand folding demon spirit, man. All oh, the, the leaders got it. They don't need me to say nothing. They've been around for longer than I have. No, you need to grow the fuck up and start handling business, bro. And I'm not, you know, I, I saw this video last night. This video right here. And, you know... It, it just it just hit me like, man, I got to do a response video to this because you encounter situations like this in the truth. Where men, men just want to sit back and fold their hands and play the background. Not get involved in situations that need to be fixed. You know, put put the whole load on all the leadership. You know, the, the, there's, there's a gap in the middle. Where, where 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 leaders have to fall down and handle situations because nobody's picking up the slack. It's gonna come a time where where the the Lord gonna step in and start folding people over. You know, if you if you truly care about the man that's that's over you, then pick up the slack, man. If you see something that needs to be done. Take some initiative and do it. If you see the if you see the camp sign is falling to pieces, take some fucking initiative, man. If you see certain signs, camp signs that 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 are that are that are pretty much destroyed, take some initiative. Don't have to wait to be told every goddamn thing, man. That's a that's the mind of a baby. Let me wait on you to fix it. I shit myself. Let me wait on you to fix it. I'm hungry. Let me wait on you to fix it. This is um Um, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. And the thing that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, commit, what it says, commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. 
That's another thing, man. If you've been in the truth for for the apostle apostle Tar says six months. Hey, some of us, some of us wasn't in the truth six months before we before the, the spirit called us to teach, to go out and start teaching. Hey, some of us didn't have other men over us to teach every day. Some of us were put in situations where we had to step the fuck up. And just because men that came before you have stepped up doesn't mean that, that you know, it's for your leisure and comfort. That means that, hey, you see those men... You know when I when I saw when I saw the the the, the ability of of these men that I grew up with, you know, when I saw the 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 ability that the Lord was blessing, you know, brothers with, I coveted after that that spirit to be able to to be able to quote scripture and to be able to uh, match up precepts. And and the 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 ability the the, the, the the responsibility of growth was all on my shoulders. But you know what I did? I utilized the brotherhood. And I would call this brother and that brother. Hey, where's that scripture to say this? And I would putting together scriptures for, for you know, uh, um, like I didn't even have a leadership position back then. I was just putting together precepts. This precept and that precept and that precept and this precept, you know? It says, commit to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. It says, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Verse 4, no man that warreth entangled himself with the affairs of this life. That's another thing, man. If you're all wrapped up in the affairs of this life to the point where you can't grow in the truth, then you ch that means that you're choosing this, this life over the over the duty of the Lord. That means that if, if and, and you know what happens to people if this world is more important to you, you know what's gonna happen to you, right? Eventually you're gonna perish with this world. The Lord is jealous, man. If you all up into your family, you know, ain't nothing wrong with loving your family, but you're supposed to love the Lord more and you're supposed to sacrifice more for the Lord. Because why? Because the Lord is the reason your family is living and breathing and have food on their table. The Lord is, is the reason you have the ability to walk out of your bed into some clothing, clothes, fix yourself a meal and go to work to provide for the family that you have. Now, what if one day you wake up paralyzed? What if that ability is taken away? And if you've committed more of that ability to, to the family that you have, they might not commit the same to you. So who are you all to be? Who are you to be more in tune with? The one who's helping you. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're supposed to, you, you ought to be more in tune with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai than any other thing on the, on the planet. Yeah, you're given, you, you, you're given a family and kids, and that's beautiful. I love kids. I have kids myself. You know, that's beautiful, man. You know, you, you see these young children and they be saluting, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and I would be like, man, that's beautiful. Like when we was down in Texas. All the brothers' kids were saluting. You know, it's a beautiful thing, but but you can tell that that these brothers are, are balance have a balance of you know having their children and and have and and being in the faith. You can tell that there's a balance there. You know, but we are not to we are not to put these things over the Lord, man. These things. That we have, you know, should make us go harder for the Lord, man. Having a family, and that's, you know, 
They, they, that, should, that should really make you go harder as a leader, as a man in the faith. But a lot of people have families, and they're more wrapped up in they, into their families than they are in, into, the, into this family. And, and having a family becomes a, a device that keeps you on a lower level. That's when it's a problem. When when you have in a family is a is a device that holds you back from from growing in the spirit, and that's something that if if you're experiencing that, that's something that you're gonna have to set in order. That's something that you're gonna have to change, and you might have to you might get to a point where you may lose your family. I've seen brothers and, and myself personally lose multiple families for this for this work, for the ministry. Because, you know, you might be on a certain level to where you just, you know, you're a younger brother. And then you might be on, on a level where you come up to a leader position and the, and the time that you used to spend with your family is sacrificed on other things. And then your family, then your your, your woman starts to get jealous of the brotherhood. And starts to get mad and say, "Oh, well, you, oh, you with them? I don't know what the hell y'all be doing." And she, and you know, a woman will, will, will be like, "Y'all, y'all might be some, some, some moles. Y'all might be some, some mosexuals." You know. You have to sacrifice more for your Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The Lord said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord said he should be in perfect peace whose mind is, is stayed on, 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 on thee. Hold on. Let me, I, I think I just butchered that scripture. Let me... <laughs> This is Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he hath trusted in thee. So the Lord, you might be in a situation where you where, where coming up on a level becomes a test to you. Where the Lord will put you in a situation where, where your, your, your woman might say, look, I'm I'm tired of you spending all the time with all all this time with these people and leaving me here with the kids to do this and that. But the scriptures say he to have a wife be as though he had none. So does does that make you an evil man? No. But you might get you might get pulled into that temptation where you may have to stand up and face certain situations. Well, this is what I'm gonna do because serving the Lord is more important than anything to me. The reason why I'm here and alive and able to help you and, and provide this place of comfort for us is because I'm serving the Lord. The reason that you wake up every day is because there's there's a there's a there's a there's a sacrifice being laid up on the, up on the table. And, and, and the product of that sacrifice is mercy. There's a sacrifice being laid on the altar before the Lord from me. And then and the product of that sacrifice is that the Lord is blessing me to have these things that, you know, that you see as comfort, as help. But you might be put in situations where your woman just up and leave you. You can't be too afraid to lose nothing in this truth. Nothing. But this truth. And if you lose on the, every if you lose everything else, hold on to this truth. This is the most important thing. Sometimes it's written in your lot to lose certain things. You know?
No man that war is, is entangled with the affairs of this life. But you can't live that life of, yeah, I'm go out, I'm, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to, get, go and hit the line at camp, and preach, and then when you go home, you just some, you just, none of it applies. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. We got we got the live show today. You go to the live show, but when you go home, none of it applies. Oh yeah, we got the Hebrew class, and and then we got this, and we got that. We got we got uh, 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 Hanukkah and Passover coming, but when you go home, nothing applies. You, and and another thing. You 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 you're in the camp, but you're not you're not pushing yourself in the area of self growth and becoming a better leader to becoming more tactful and taking care of situations that are on your level to fix and not leaving the responsibility to float past you. Responsibility is always there to be taken and fixed. Don't get too settled, and then and then when you when 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 brothers have a council and say, look, bro, we're gonna we're gonna take your rank and give it to this brother because he's more active than you. Then 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 you 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 ball your mouth up. Then you then 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 you offended, but you wasn't doing shit, bro. And the spirit the spirit of, the spirit will warn you multiple times. You know, but this, but sometimes the, the see that's that scripture that says uh, uh, be as be be as to as to the the gentle also to the forward. Sometimes the gentle brother will be like, brother, look, brother, you got to fix this situation, or brother, hey, we we we're, we're depending on you to do better than what you're doing, brother. And you know all you got to say is a few agreeing words and that brother might not be on your head too much, but the spirit will be laying on your ass. The, the, the spirit of the Lord will be leaning over you mad while that brother is speaking to you and you better take it to account. But every man in the truth t says to me, I take it to account because I believe that these are the men of the Lord that I'm, I'm surrounded by. So the Lord, hey, the Lord, have a younger brother say something, and just because he a younger brother, you can't side eye him and say, "What the hell is this dude talking about?" Because the spirit will speak through some of these younger brothers, and sometimes you'll get cut. <laughs> sometimes you have to pick up your lip, but that's all right though. No, that's all right, man. You know? But this truth is a thing of growth. Consistent growth is key, man. Pushing yourself. Being a better brother. Those are the type of men that are needed. Men that take men that take care of situations on their own. That they don't have to be told like a robot. You know, nobody have to grab your joystick and tell you, hey, brother, you, you didn't see we needed this done? Why ain't nobody take care of this? Oh, uh, you, oh you know, con. Con, boo. <laughs> you know? And then, and then another thing. Another thing comes up. Another situation come up. Why ain't nobody step up and take care of this? You seen so the, the 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 camp sand was falling apart. You seen, you know, the that the, we needed this certain thing or that thing, and you had the the necessity to, to handle that, but you didn't want to handle it because you don't want to grow. You don't want to handle it. You and that. Oh yeah, well we got the leaders to do it, so I ain't got to do shit. But just lay on them and fuck their lives. You know? I'm just going to make their lives harder. They got it. No, no, it don't work that way, man. But it's got to step up, man.
You know, because eventually, if, you, if you're in that spirit, what's going to happen eventually? The Lord going to start chipping away at you, man. Brothers might get fed up and take your rank one day. Look, this brother doing more than you. And you're supposed to be in a leadership position. So you know what? Since this brother's doing more than you and he's and he's more active, then, then we're going to have to take your rank and give it to this brother because he's doing your job. And sometimes that's a test on him, though. Hey, so hey, man, the Lord is cold, man. Sometimes the Lord will give a brother rank just to see if he if 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 he gonna get too high minded. Sometimes the brothers, the Lord will use a situation on you to test another brother. Look, brother, we gotta take your rank because you're not stepping up. It might you might have the ability to step up, but you 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 may need a stiff reminder. But the Lord might raise another brother up over you, and he might just just. Become proud as hell. <laughs> Another thing, man, when you get when you get I, I did that lesson. Positions of leadership are to be received with humility. The Lord a hey, two hit hit two birds. Raise another brother over you, and that brother become a fucking demon. He lose all his humility and just become a, a and you be like, you don't recognize the brother no more. Just to get you in in the place that you need to be, but you know, I don't want I don't want to be I don't want to be putting myself in a situation where the hand of the Lord is moving on me. Because man, the Lord is a hey, if people forget the Lord is a terrible power. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, man. So we don't want to be putting our Selves in a position to fall into his hands. Step up and do your job, man. That's all, man. That's all you got to do. Do your job. Do the thing that the Lord called you to do, and be fervent in your in in the work that the Lord get the ability that the Lord gave you. Be on your job, man. Take initiative. Take initiative and do things. Don't do things because, you know, uh, 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 somebody asked you to do them. Do things because you see they need to be done. You know, and I, I keep using the camp sign, you know, because that's that's like a, a something that, a, you know, brothers, like if you see that needs, uh, you know, something needs to be taken care of. That's the thing that a lower level brother can take care of. Hey, look, I saw the I saw the sign falling apart. So here, I went I went ahead and just make, got a new one made, and so we can you know retire this one. You know. Yeah, I saw the uh, twelve traps uh, sign was getting old, and you know, the Lord blessed me to, you know, with the ability to have. Neat handwriting, so I, I took the initiative to go buy two pieces of plywood and make another camp sign for the camp. I had the money, I had the I had the ability, so hey, I handled it. So the leaders don't have so so what so what the leader might see the camp sign, but he might he might be in some type of financial straits where he's just getting by with the money he has at the at the time, but he's gonna get to it eventually. But you might be sitting there with with the money that's the, with the necessity to bring to 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 fix that problem. But but what are you doing? You hands in your pockets, looking at the leaders. I need somebody to be telling me what I'm supposed to be doing. Waiting for somebody to grab your joystick and tell and and, and start. No, it don't work that way. It don't work that way, and eventually, if you got that, if you got that kind of mind, and you don't have the mind to 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 produce, to progress, to go forward, eventually you are gonna get rubbed out of here. The spirit, the spirit, speak. I mean, the the truth speaks about well, the spirit, the truth speaks about having having a a, a willing mind. You know, 
So, you know, don't don't lay all the burden on, on the people over you to do every goddamn thing. If you see it needs to be done and you have the necessity to do it, fucking do it, man. Why didn't nobody take care of this? Well, uh, everybody looking at each other crazy as hell, man. What the fuck, man? Sometimes you get upset when you see that shit. Everybody looking around like a fucking dummy. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know, boss. We didn't get no order from nothing. Sometimes the spirit be telling you what you need to be doing. You know, we coming to the time of the end, man. Like, hey, people are waking up, man. And eventually, your 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 leadership skills are going to be put to the test. And then even the lowest man in the truth is a leader when it comes to this nation of people. You know? What does Solomon pray? Solomon prayed that Lord bless me, bless me with the with the with the ability to lead such a great nation, a people. When in his mind he thought about you know riches, but out of his humility he asked for a a, a mind to lead such a great people, and the Lord blessed him with both. Because he, he 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 directed his intent in a, into a righteous manner. Yeah, he wanted to. Of course, even even if he thought about being a king and having riches, the 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 more righteous intent took the front. And we all have to have that mindset. Bless me, Lord, with the mindset to be a leader of this great nation of people that, that you've placed in our, our, our hands. We all have to, and, and, and in order to be that great leader, you have to be a, good fo a great follower. And, and in order to be a great follower, you have to take initiative Make make the leaders' jobs easier. Don't put everything on them. Take some weight up on yourself. That song by Robbie Robinson. Check that song out. The weight. As in W E I G H T. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakodash. Double honors to our apostles, a great millstone that rule with honor and with diligence. Honestly, brothers out there pushing his word. On the four corners of earth, you sisters out there that are listening and learning. Peace be unto you, Shalom.